A group of potential roommates are out $1,600 after the home they thought they were set to move into turns out to be a scam. Valina Jones is in the News Center with more. Valina? Well, Charlotte, the group of men in their early 20s are not only out money, but also still need a place to live after finding out they were scammed. They jumped into it very eagerly, and he thought he found a great deal. When it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. A lesson Tom Ray says his 22-year-old son and two roommates learned the hard way, losing $1,600 along the way. It's horrible that you have to learn a lesson like this, but sometimes you have to be cautious. The group planned to move into a house on Madison's west side later this month. They found the listing on Craigslist and were asked to only communicate through text. They even wired a deposit, but never got the keys. She said, I didn't send them because you didn't send me the first and last month's rent. And he said, yes, I did. I have the receipts from Walmart. And she said, well, could you send it again, and we'll add that to your rent when I get it. And he found all of that odd. Ray drove to the home to find it was not only not for rent, but on the market to be sold. They find a place. Uh, that's for sale, use the listing, the information, and the photos, and post it on Craigslist for rent. You really have to do extra research because of how easy it is for a scammer to infiltrate that online traffic. The Department of Agriculture, Trade, and Consumer Protection suggests you hire a property manager, verify the address, research the landlord, and never wire money. 77% of the time in scams, it's usually a wire transfer. So obviously that shows that that is a very, uh, it's a solid way of getting money from unsuspecting people. Neighbors say Ray Sun is one of a handful of people who have fallen for the scam in the last few weeks. There's nobody around uh, to, to be angry at. Uh, it's just some unseen person that I'll never see again because nobody has any solution as to how to fix it. Now, Ray did report the scam to police, but say the phony landlord continues to post the scam ad on Craigslist for other people to find. The realtor of the property has reported the scam to both the police and the FBI Security Crimes Unit. Valina Jones reporting tonight. Valina, thank you.